Right, well welcome to this tutorial on how to create a, an animated banner in Flash. Uh, what we'll have by the end of this tutorial is a banner where we have two photos that fade in and fade out. Um, so it's a very common banner effect. So I'm in Flash here and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new Flash file. So this will come up with a blank stage. That white area is called the stage. And then my next step is to go ahead and to import the two images. So I'll go to the file menu, choose import, and then import to the library. And I'll choose my two images. And when I do this, you notice if I hover over them, I get the dimensions there, 438 by 291. Now both of those images have the same dimensions, and it's quite important that you do prepare these first in Photoshop. I'd suggest you use the crop tool and set that to the same dimensions for each image and uh, then come into Flash and do this. So I'll click on Open and now they appear down here in my library so they're ready to be used. Now my next step is to change the background size now. So we need it to match that of the images so that we don't get any extra white space around our animation or in, our, in our banner. And um, this will happen eventually. For some reason Flash does not work that quick when I'm recording it. So I'll just keep waiting and see how we go. Other things that we're going to use, oh, no, here we go. Um, so I'll just change the dimensions to 438 and 291. And notice that the frame rate here is 12 frames per second. So that means that if I want, for example, a two second animation, it will take 24 frames. Uh, here you have the opportunity also to change the background color if you want. I'm going to leave mine white for now though. So I'll click OK, and my stage has now changed size. Now my next thing to do is I'm just going to grab my first image from the library, the cyclists, and drag it onto the screen. And there it is. Now, um, unless you're very lucky, you probably won't have it sitting exactly centered on your stage. So I'm going to come to the Align tab, and just check to make sure that two stage is selected. And then I'm going to do Center it, both vertically and horizontally and now it's sitting neatly on there. Now I uh, also notice that my image here has a grey border around the outside of it and that means it is still an image so I need to convert this to a symbol so that flash can deal with it. So I'll go to the modify menu at the top here and choose convert to symbol. Now you can also use F8 which is the keyboard shortcut. Um, I'm going to choose a graphic for this and I'm just going to name it. I'll click OK and now it should have a blue border around the outside. Now what I'll do is I'll go to my timeline up top here and I see I've got layer 1, I'll just double click on that and uh, rename that. And I'm going to have my image sit here for 2 seconds before it begins to fade out. So that means it needs to sit there until frame 24. So I'm just going to right click there and I'm going to insert a keyframe. Now you need keyframes at the start and the end of each animation. So this is at the start of the fading out. I'll make that last two seconds as well. It's a nice slow fade. So I'll click on the 48th frame, right click, I'll insert another keyframe. And in this keyframe I want this image to be invisible. So I'll click on the symbol itself and down under properties in the color drop down we have an option called alpha. Now I'm just going to slide that down to zero. So this is uh, the same as opacity in Photoshop. So now I have an invisible symbol and you can see it just ticks over when I scrub the play head across the top here it disappears. So what I'll do is I'll just click in between those two frames, right click and I'm going to create a motion twin and that will make flash do all the work so that it gradually fades the photo out. Right, so the next step now is to add the rugby one. So I'll add a new layer because every time you add something, you should keep it on a new layer. I'll name my layer rugby. And I want this image to start in frame 24, so it'll begin to appear at the same time the cyclists disappear. So I'll right click and insert a keyframe there. And now I'm going to come over to my library, click on rugby and drag it onto my stage. Now I don't have to worry about positioning it because I can come back to my align tab and center it horizontally and vertically. Notice it still has, this one has the grey border so I'll need to convert that to a symbol, modify, convert to symbol or again you can use F8. 
I'm just going to call this a rugby and it's going to stay a graphic. So now I'll go to this. Oh, sorry, this is my first frame. I want this to be invisible there, and in my last frame of this animation, it will be fully visible. So I'll need to insert a keyframe first. So now I have keyframes at the beginning and at the end of this animation. Now at the beginning, I'll click on that keyframe, I'll click on my symbol, and down here under color, if I choose alpha, oh, that's already zero, that's good. Notice my rugby players disappear. Now if I add a motion twin between those two keyframes, again by right clicking, now you know, it puts the arrow in there and all going well, my rugby players are fading in. So if I just go right back to the start and hit enter to have a look at this, the cyclists sit there and then they fade out and are replaced by the rugby players. And you would want to probably go on and maybe add a few more frames um, where you can have the rugby photo continue on like that, just another keyframe, and then make it fade out. But I'll leave that to you to explore. So that's uh, just a quick intro into how to create an animated banner with fading images.